In question 4 of our series where we find the derivative by the delta method, we're asked, find the slope of the tangent to the curve y is equal to the square root of x plus 2 at x is equal to 5 by the delta method. This question comes from one of our viewers who is curious as to what happens if the radicand has a plus 2 included. So let's get started. Step number 1 says substitute x plus delta x into x and y plus delta y into y. If we do that, we should end up with this becoming y plus delta y is equal to, and this becoming x plus delta x plus 2, all square rooted. Step number 2 says model the limit expression. The limit expression is right here. This part, specifically, can be substituted with all of this, because y plus delta y is equal to this expression minus what y is, and this is what y is equal to. So we have the limit as delta x approaches 0 for the expression x plus delta x plus 2 in the radical minus the square root of x plus 2 all over delta x. Now what's interesting is that if we take the limit at this point and set this equal to 0, we'll have a denominator that's equal to 0 and we won't end up with an answer. So what we have to do to take this limit is algebraically manipulate this in such a way where we can finally take the limit and actually get an output. The only way we can do that is if we rationalize the numerator. And by that, I mean we take whatever this expression is and multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction by the conjugate of this. The conjugate of this expression is the same thing except the second term is plus. Here's what I mean. So I'll multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction by the conjugate of the numerator. x plus delta x plus 2, square rooted. And instead of minus, we'll put plus x plus 2, square rooted. And the same thing at the bottom. Now that I've copied and pasted it in the top and the bottom, I will multiply this binomial with this binomial. And this won't be easy to do, it takes some time. And I'll show my work over here. So I'll multiply this by this, and I'm using the FOIL method here. If I multiply this to this, I'll end up with simply the radicand, x plus delta x plus 2. I'll multiply this by that. Both of them have an index of 2. Therefore, we can multiply the radicands together plus the square root of x plus 2 times the following. That itself will require some work, and I'll do that work over here. So we have this radicand being multiplied to this radicand, x plus 2 times x plus delta x plus 2. x times x is x squared plus delta x times x. Now the 2, 2x two plus 2 delta x, 2 times 2 is 4. We'll stop at that and place it right here. So we just finished multiplying this term to that term and this term to that term. Now I'll multiply this term to this term and to that term. Luckily for us, if I multiply x plus 2 with the following, I should end up with the same thing, except that we have a negative. So technically, we'll have the same expression except it's being minused by it. And notice that since they're the same expression with opposing signs, they'll cancel out. I'll show that with these green lines. And finally, our last step is to multiply this expression to this expression. Let's write that down. x plus 2 square rooted times x plus 2 square rooted. The only difference is that this term is negative. So when we multiply these two, we should end up with the square root should go away, leaving us with only x plus 2. And given that this one has a negative, each of these terms will become negative. So we have negative x minus negative 2. I'll place that right here. And what's convenient now is that this minus x and this x go away. They cancel out. Plus 2 minus 2 gives us 0 leaving us only with delta x in the numerator of our limit.
Let's write that down. The limit as delta x approaches 0, the numerator is delta x, and the denominator, let's go back and see what it is, delta x times the following. Now that I've written it down nicely, delta x in the numerator and delta x at the bottom will cancel out. And if I take the limit as delta x approaches 0 for this term, this goes to 0, leaving us with 1 over the square root of x plus 2 and another square root of x plus 2. There are two square root of x plus 2's. So this becomes 1 over 2 times the square root of x plus 2. That right there represents the derivative of our equation. We also need to find out the slope. So I'll evaluate this at x is equal to 5 because that's what the question asked for. We have 1 over 2 times 5 plus 2 is 7, so the square root of 7. If we find the decimal version of this number, you should end up with 0 0.1889. 0 0.1889. If your teacher does not want the decimal version and wants the rationalized version, you should write down 1 over 2 times 7. And to rationalize the denominator, we multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 7. This becomes 14, and at the top we have the square root of 7, which is the same thing as the following. And so there you have it. That is how to find the derivative by the delta method.